Hi everyone, my name is Micah Brown. I am the creator of Skyclad Squirrel. I wanted to show you guys how I create music videos using Comfy UI. Right now I have this set up. I'm using Cascade uh, for the model. When I usually use these tools, I go into the, the settings and I change this to hidden and I hit close. So I don't have to look at the noodles. I don't mind, you know, building out my own uh, setup but once I'm done, I hide it. That way I don't have to see it. This is uh, my workflow that I'm using. I'm using what's called the wildcard processor from Mikey. To get to that, go to your manager, install custom nodes. And then when you type in Mikey and hit the search button, you're gonna see Mikey nodes. Download that, install it, and then reboot your uh, Comfy UI and you're, you're gonna have that in there. Uh, the very first one that you're going to want to um, load up is the wildcard processor. You're gonna stream that over into show text and you'll see why that's important in a second. And then uh, with your positive text encode, you want to uh, right mouse click on it and say convert text to input. And then you take this stream and then you throw that into the clip and then that conditioning goes into your normal uh, input uh, under your positive over here. This is how wildcards work you will create a text file. So you can create like a, a go into chat GTP and say, uh, write me a list of uh, 100 uh, fantasy locations, something like that. And then it's going to write you a list. There we go. Now you don't want bullet points and you don't want numbers in your text file. So I would normally, I would stop this and say, uh, remove the uh, numbers and bullet points keep as a vertical plane list. Chat GTP has a problem with it. I have, I always have to ask it to do the same thing over and over again, but this is how you get uh, a list here. So once that's done, we're going to copy that list and then turn that list into just a text file. Um, okay, let's say uh, there's our 100. Thank you, ChatGTP. So copy that, go into wildcards, and we're going to say, uh, oops, I hit a folder there. I want a new text document, uh, 10 locations, paste those in there, and save. That is it. Now hit F2 on your keyboard, hit Control C to copy that. And then when you go back into your uh, Comfy UI, this is why you have a notes folder, because now you know that you have a wildcard called 10 locations. Um, the way you use wildcards is right next to the zero on your uh, uh, keyboard, hold down shift and you wanna do underscore, underscore. It's the one right next to the, the zero on your uh, keyboard. And then we're gonna type in our 10 locations and it has to be exactly the way that text file looks right here. So if you are if you wanna do it really quick, control C and then paste that in there and then you're gonna do shift underscore underscore. All right, now when we hit this Q, you're gonna see the text right in here change based off what it's cycling through as the wild card. So I'm gonna hit extra options, auto Q and here we go. So we have a crystal forest for this first one here. All right, and we're doing a 1920 by 1152 on Cascade. Um, and you'll see the quality of the renders that this thing does. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. It's taking a little bit longer than normal, okay. Now, if we, uh, it's already going again for the next one. So this next one is a labyrinth of echoing madness. That sounds uh, very Guillermo del Toro. Ooh, very del Toro. All right, now here's where it gets even more fun. Let's say we have our 10 locations or you know our shot list. Now at a comma and I have a wild card, uh, we have lenses, we have lights and now when you see this go through 
are 10 locations. We have a camera and we have lantern lights for our lighting setups here. What this is going to do, let me go into my wildcard list here. For my lenses, I have all different styles of camera lenses and they all have different uh, f-stops and focal lengths. Um, we also have uh, our lighting setups. So we have twilight, we have neon lights, stage lighting, back lights, all these different types of lighting scenarios. The reason why I like doing this is I will render out thousands of these. Uh, and norm with a 4090, you can do around four, about four to 5,000 images overnight. And what this does is this builds up a, a, a catalog of all different styles. So now you can drag and drop all of these different uh, like images in there. And when you import your own artwork into it, you can do all the different lighting scenarios. Here's one of the, the images that I rendered out. We just drag this right in here. And there we go. Copy that. Let's try an octopus. And it's gonna keep our macro lens. And then we have a uh, bioluminescence. So we're, we should have a beautiful underwater octopus here. And there we go. The next step, I'll render out all these images. You take these into Photoshop and this is where you do all of your cleanup work on them. Uh, especially with the AI tools in Photoshop, you can extend your canvas. You can get rid of anything that doesn't need to be there. I'll make a whole tutorial on how to do that later. Once you get all of your images ready for processing, put them into a folder, put them on your desktop, and then you want to open up your SVD workflow. And I'm using an SVD to image to video conditioning. And then what you do is you want to use this node right here, load image based on number. And you go to add node, go to Mikey, and then go to, um, I think it said it was image, load image based off of number. And then you throw this into the initial image. And the way this works, it's a batch renderer. Change your seed to zero. That'll be your first image in your folder. And then you set it to increment. And then um, here's like all my images I, um, I saved out from my last music video, Future Love. All these images, you just copy the link, paste that link right into your Mikey node here. Hit edit, extra options, auto queue, and just queue, that's it. And I have the resolution set to 960 uh, for the width, and then the height is 512. Video frames, one second of animation. That's all SVD can do. It starts to break down from memory loss is the only way I can describe it. Now, I also am using this uh, Rife and I have it uh, set to a multiplier of two, which turns this into essentially a two second clip. I don't even use most of the clip. I'll usually cut it in editing. This is what we have. Let's see here. There's our, our video and it's just gonna, it's gonna go image to image and make you a video for each one. And this works for any video um, uh, generator in Comfy UI. You throw this Mikey number, based on number on there, and then whatever images you throw in there, it's going to generate a video based off every one of those. That's how I'm doing it. And it's, it's just throwing out tons and tons of uh, variations. I will usually make around 2,000 videos and then I pick the best ones from that. It's usually one out of 10 is good. Um, it's kind of a numbers game until, you know, Sora or some of those other new tools coming out. I'm really looking forward to Stable Diffusion 3. Um, so once that comes out, I think, you know, we'll put a lot more effort into like motion capture, uh, facial capture, lip sync, and all that kind of stuff. But as of right now, this is just a really quick super easy way of generating like videos and uh, that's how I'm doing it. Make something great. Hopefully you get something out of this video and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys make. Thanks guys. It's a